As you know, Jacinda Ardern has officially resigned and New Zealand has a new Prime Minister. But let's not get too excited because the new guy is even worse than the Queen of Lockdowns. Hello everybody, welcome to another video. This is about New Zealand. This is about Jacinda Ardern, her legacy of authoritarianism and idiocy of tyranny this is quite fascinating because uh, we did a video a few days ago um in in regards to uh, jacinda's uh, track record as a strong leader who just simply was went completely out of control as a control freak uh, but this is now about the new guy so she's now been replaced by uh, chris hipkins chris hipkins who was also the top of uh, the labor party in new zealand uh, with uh, alongside jacinda Ardern before um, we found some uh, quite disturbing footage from uh, a year ago, you know, about a couple of years ago, during the, the lockdown days and the health mandates and everything else that happened uh, when uh, Jacinda Ardern was going around saying, well, we will be, we, the government, will be your only single source of information. Don't trust anybody. Uh, don't trust the external uh, experts or medical experts or uh, uh, scientists, anybody, independent reporters and media. That was one thing. But this guy, Chris Hipkins, also was going around literally advocating for hunting down people who were refusing to uh, obey, people who were refusing to take their fires as AstraZeneca's. He literally said, we, the government, will go after them, will chase them, and we'll be forcing them to take their jabs. I think early next year we'll be in the phase of chasing up people who haven't come forward to get their vaccination or have missed their bookings and so on. So uh, everyone will be able to get a vaccine between now and the end of the year. Uh, but of course, you know, and, and I want every New Zealander to come forward, but human behaviour suggests that there will be some people that we have to actually really go out and look for, uh, and, and some of that may spill into next year. But our commitment is everyone will have the opportunity to get the vaccine by the end of the year. Uh, everyone will, uh, but I, I can't say that, you know, that we're not going to have some hesitant people or some people who just haven't come forward that we don't have to go out and find next year uh, okay chris initially the first sentence i was like okay he's simply saying we need to chase them up we need to remind them of their appointments and then he said well because of human behavior some of them are going to refuse so we're going to go have to go after them and find them <laughs> and they did that by the way and it was very very disturbing what happened in new zealand if you thought things were bad in canada for example under justin uh, trudeau uh, with Arden's government was also absolutely chaotic and they also then created the peer pressure environment that forced Australia some of the places in Australia to also go authoritarian following what happened uh, in, in New Zealand but let's not forget that the, all this stuff is not going to change anything when it comes to the governance of New Zealand and um, this guy is already uh, aiming to get closer to China because we talked about just in Arden's toxic relationship with President Xi but Chris Hipkins has already come out to say, well, the first trip as PM has to be China. China is the high priority. It's incredibly important economically and a number of issues to get close uh, to China for New Zealand. And in, we've, we've already discussed this toxic relationship between New Zealand and the Chinese Communist Party uh, that actually affected the Five Eyes agreement uh, with New Zealand's so-called allies. Uh, and it completely disturbed the whole system. We know that they are in the pocket of the CCP. We know that because of the rivalry with Australia and now the rest of the Western world, they are completely shooting themselves in the foot. And we have to wait to see the next election, how things could change. I don't think Chris Hipkins is going to be as popular as the, the golden days of Jacinda Ardern. But we'll see how uh, the general public and population in New Zealand will react when it comes to the next election. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.